Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This team is going down the shithole. <laughs> this team is going down the sewer. Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, now you know. This press conference was supposed to happen at 3.30 p.m., need I mind you. But it was totally late. It was totally late. And why it was late? Because you were going to get Tom Gores talking hella fucking stupid in the press conference of Trajan Langdon. Trajan Langdon, I'll, I'll go easy on you. I'll go easy on you, okay? I understand you're you're a good guy with basketball IQ, but the guy that you're sitting next to has no basketball IQ whatsoever. ever. <laughs> the dude is stupid as shit. Stupid as shit. Okay? Need I mind you, with his Beetlejuice looking ass, this idiot sat there in the entire press conference talking stupid as shit. Doesn't know what he wants to look for in a head coach, but says, we want a substantial organization. Doesn't know about winning, but hey, hey, there's more to that. He takes L's. That's the things that he know. Other than that, this idiot really just like gave a whole... Oh my god, it, it, it's, it's, it's just so stupid. It's so stupid. You promoted platinum equanity in your whole... In your whole... Oh my god. In your whole... You promoted platinum equanity in your whole fucking statement. Platinum Equanity, you gave it a whole ad in the fucking press conference. Everyone's asking questions about the team. Woj, Corey Woodward, you know, I almost called him Woodward. Corey Woods? They ask actual good questions. Shout out to Stoney, by the way. And, and, and another shout out. Shout out to Mike Valente. I love that guy. And no, I don't want to give him a hug at 4.30 in the morning on a Thursday like you do, you idiot. Who in the hell gives their president of op basketball operations, before I even blooper, who in the hell gives their president of operations, basketball, pa president of basketball operations, because I'm literally like, I'm, I'm just like, I'm mind fucked at this point. Like, what the fuck? I am mind fucked. I am so mindfucked about what the fuck just happened. Like, this shit is so hilarious to me, man. You hugged your president of basketball operations at 4.30 in the fucking morning. Who does that to another man? Who does that? What owner does that? Donald Sterling might do that, and you're probably the second owner that would. But what the hell? What the hell, Gores? What the hell? Your daughter wrote a whole letter for you to go by, and you went off the rocker and just said, Fuck it. I'm going to do it the typical Tom Gores way, the platinum way, and say stupid shit throughout the whole press conference. The media in Detroit is eating this shit up right now as we speak. You're lucky. Matter of fact, fuck lucky. You're going to get... Just, just, just use your brain and think about this right now. And, and use your ears when you think of this. You're going to get comedian skits. Yes, comedian skits about this shit right about now. Your whole entire statement was nothing but funny-ass quotes. Funny-ass quotes from a dumbass owner who knows nothing about basketball. Who knows nothing about winning. Who literally knows nothing about keeping his fans happy when there's empty seats in the damn... 
a damn building, okay, for the matter. You have empty ass seats every single fucking game. Every single game. Think about it. You're 2-28 and 28 from last year. 28 losing games. You fire Monty Williams, which is Trajan's job. He fired him. You let go, um, 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 Troy Weaver. Smart. And that was Trajan that made that call. But when you have an owner who doesn't even have a brain for basketball or the knack to keep his players or fan base happy, he's going to get up on the press conference and say more stupid shit so you can be like, you know what? Sell the goddamn team because this team is a, it, it's a circus. <laughs> if I was Kay Cunningham, I'm not signing that max extension. I am not signing that shit because if I was watching this shit, I would be laughing fucking hard. I would be laughing so hard and I would get every reason. I would get every reason within my soul to say, trade me. Trade me. Because you have a stupid ass owner in the most historical franchise that basketball has ever have to offer. And it's the Detroit Pistons. You said it. We're going to do it the platinum way. Oh, the platinum way? It's more like the aluminum foil way, Gores. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait till the first game. Whoever we play at home at LCA, I can't wait. This shit is going to be so hilarious. It's going to be so hilarious and funny when the whole fan base at the home game is going to chant, sell the fucking team. I can't fucking wait. I just can't fucking wait. I can't. I laughed throughout this whole press conference and I knew it was going to be the worst press conference in NBA fucking history. What a fucking joke. Detroit Pistons fans, I love you guys. I'm a Pistons fan. And you, and you all knew I was going to come after this idiot. But then again, let's pray and hope that the future is better than this right now. Because we're going down the drain. Whether you know it or not, we're going down the drain. And Tom Gores is the problem to us going down the drain. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you for making us look like a whole hellhole joke that everyone is going to be laughing at. Hell, Adam Silver, when he goes up to make our fifth pick, he's going to call us the Pictons again. Yay! How great! How fucking great! How fucking great, man. How fucking great. I'm done. I, I said all I have to say. I'm done. I'm done.